So today I am going to show you guys how to get rid of these evil annoying menaces in our nail tech life. These flowers and sequins always stick up. What a pain. I've had great success using plastic wrap, but today we're going to be using this guy right here. My clear jelly stamper. I don't know which brand this is. Sorry, don't know. I'm going to use my lamp over here and we're going to make a custom smusher thingy. We haven't come up with a cool name for it yet, you guys, but this is the technique. Let's get going. I already have this nail painted white. I'm going to go ahead and add some of just my favorite top coat. It really is my favorite top coat, you guys. Unfortunately, the brand is no longer in existence and I bought like 400 bottles before they went away. So I got a couple extra, maybe not 400, but I do have some extra ones. While the top coat is wet, I'm going to go through and just add some of the, you know, the flower pieces. Dried flowers are notorious for not sitting down properly. I'm gonna show you with this little guy right here. You can poke at him all you want, but he's still gonna have little bits and pieces that are lifted. Like, look at that right there. See that gap? No bueno. We wanna make this easy on us, you guys. Work smart, not hard. So I'm going to take this cool little contraption and we're gonna flash cure. This is extremely important. You have to flash cure it a little bit before you press. Otherwise you're gonna have a big old gloopy mess, you guys, and it is not fun. You just mind your times. But look at this, look at this. It's perfectly flush against the nail. Absolutely fantastic, you guys. So I, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie, very honest. I'm gonna end up using two coats of top coat because while it is really awesome and flat, it's just not, you know, this is the easiest way. I would rather do it this way than the full encapsulation, to be honest with you. Sometimes we know that takes forever. And then you got to file it to make it perfectly smooth because I'm OCD. This, all I'm doing is just a little double top coat and it's smooth. It's so easy, you guys. So here's how I did the flower. Now I'm going to do the sequins and I'm going to pick the hardest ones ever the cannabis leaves. They're very similar to the maple leaves, except they're completely pointy everywhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a layer of my top coat on, place my little leaf babies, and then we're just gonna take the flashlight with the, I mean, you can kind of flash it before without the silicone head, but you actually, it's a time saver. Trust me, you guys, keep the silicone head on it while you're flash curing it. Flash it and then press it, cure it for just a little bit longer. And then I do put them back in the lamp, you guys. So after each flash, I put them in the lamp. But look at that. Look at that. Best nail art hack ever. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put a top coat on this one. And like I said, I'm still going to do two top coats. I don't always do two top coats. Sometimes I'll just slap some acid primer on there and use that as a double sticky tape on the sequins and put a matte top coat and call it a day. Here, I did two top coats of the shiny, but look at this, so flat, so awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this hack. If you use it, you know, let me know how it works for you. Look how smooth that is, totally, totally smooth. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.